Welcome back to Cyrusher TV. Today we're going to walk through the steps on assembling your brand new Komoda. The first step is going to be getting the bike out of the box and removing all of the packing material. All the packing material can be stored inside the box and recycled according to local rules and regulations. The Komoda comes with a fender, charger, keys, pedals, quick release, or a bolt through axle, but we'll get back to that in a moment. Multi-tool, wrench, and that big fat tire. The first step in assembling your bike is going to be rotating the headset 180 degrees. Loosen both of the headset bolts. And turn the headset towards the front, lining it up with the front forks and the frame. After it's been rotated, make sure to tighten those screws back up. Next, we're going to remove the faceplate on the headset. Once that's off, we're going to install the handlebars using the crosshair as a guide. When tightening the bolts, make sure to utilize an X pattern. That'll maintain a consistent pressure on all points on the handlebars. Double check that the handlebars are secure. Next, let's remove the dropout protection. Next, let's remove the brake caliper insert. First, we're going to focus on installing the quick release skewer. If you have a bolt through axle, you can skip this and go right to the section where we talk about installing the bolt through axle. Next, we're going to install the quick release on the front wheel. Remove the nut and one of the small springs. Install the quick release skewer through the tire, tightening up that bolt on the other side. But don't tighten it down all the way, as we're going to need some room when we install the front tire. Line up the tire with the front forks, making sure to align the disc brake with the brake calipers and the dropouts with the quick release skewer. Once it's been seated correctly, tighten up the bolt on the opposite side. It may take a few tries to get that pressure just right. Now we'll walk through installing the bolt through axle. First, you're gonna loosen the outer bolts. Make sure you leave enough room for the dropouts to slide in. Next, we'll remove the dropout protection. Then we'll remove the brake caliper insert. Always make sure that you're lining up the disc brake with the disc brake caliper. Place the dropouts over the axle. And once the axle is in the dropouts, tighten up those outside bolts. Finish off tightening up the outside bolts with a 15mm wrench. Next, we'll install the front fender. Remove the pre-installed bolts on the front shocks. Install the front fender in the light and place the bolt back through both of those, tightening it up on the opposite side. Now let's do the pedals. As we mentioned, one pedal is for the left side and one pedal is for the right side. They're both labeled. And when you put the pedal in, you are gonna turn it towards the front wheel. 
the right one on the right side, and the left one on the left side. You can start by hand tightening it and finishing it off with the included 15 millimeter wrench. Now that your bike is fully assembled, let's go ahead and turn it on. To turn on your Komodo, simply press and hold the bottom button and the display will come to life. There's a few things the display will show us. It'll show us our current battery, our trip distance, our odometer distance, watts, pedal assist, and our current speed. To turn on the lights, use the keypad located to the far left, pressing the light button that will turn the lights on and that will turn the lights off. And there's also a horn that's included right here underneath the light. If you followed all the steps up until now, your Komodo should be ready to roll. 